Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at NVIDIA, AMD, Tesla, and MU. We follow the daily, weekly, monthly time frames. We use technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. If you like these videos, go to my website, sign up, they're free, or click down here in the bottom right-hand corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Traders, looking for a new broker? Check out VenomTrading.com slash promo slash StockBookie. Or give them a call, tell them stock bookie sent you. All right, guys, so uh, we're going to go into the uh, daily and weekly charts on this one. This is the weekend update, so let's get right to the NVIDIA chart. Daily chart $10.36 down, 15 million on the day, 4.33% red on the day. I'm surprised this didn't drag, excuse me, the markets down a little bit further. But we talked about this pattern in our last video one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. We broke this low, down we go. Next area we're looking at for support is this one here at 222.46, and then the gap fill at 216.79, and this low pivot down here right at 210.31. I want to stick a fib here too, just to see where this is coming. Yeah, we're even below the 250 or the 750 retrace. So this this would be interesting, guys, if this holds. It needs to stay above this 230.92 area. Usually, though, you get elongated candle like this. There should be more selling pressure, possibly going into earnings. So maybe somebody knows something. But remember, this was the stock of the year. <laughs> remember that? Last year, that is. This year, it won't be. Weekly chart hit the 50 MA. We got the bounce and right back down. Here's that low pivot. Here's the high pivot where we have the uh, Fibonacci level right to the 750 retrace. This is a good area, guys. Like I said, will it hold? We got to wait until next week. We did close below the 50 and the 20. To save this thing, it's got to pretty much turn around, go straight back up. I think earnings are next week or the following week on this, so that could possibly, they could bring it down for lower price, uh, prices, maybe get the people to buy the dip and then they flush it, or do they buy the dip and this goes right back to all-time highs. We're going to see. I have my members going slow and steady in these markets. We're waiting to get through these earnings, but we've been putting doing a little bit more day trading during the day, <clears throat> and we did a live session today, so watch out for those on stock twits. We're going to go live next week, a little bit more intraday action, going over stocks, trying to figure out where these uh, where these uh, equities will go up or down. But man, three weeks of pure selling on NVIDIA off a high pivot, that could lead, lead us to lower prices. Weekly chart, I keep saying daily chart, I've been telling everyone for a while, 200 MA is the target price, we hit it. Weekly chart, 200 MA again, it's going to be the price, guys markets start giving it up these things are going to fall monthly i'm going to go to the monthly on this one real quick because this was a high flyer 204.15 is the target for me at least at this point they have a gap fill right around 194 and then this low pivot here at 181 so that's something to look for because man right now we wiped out one two three four almost five months of gain in three weeks guys this is a monster sell handle so just be very careful in these markets <clears throat> AMD look at that right back down guys see yeah, I was getting killed on this one the right size uh, position guys I did not load the boat not all in no more than 10% of my total portfolio being very this one would took a lot of patience guys but bam right back in guys getting paid on AMD at this point daily chart daily I mean this is ugly we come off of a little retrace to the high pivot and then boom straight down guys we hit an area with the gap fill what does it do bounce nice little retrace we get above this inside bar red candle never confirmed boom straight back down now we close below this low and the 618 <clears throat> and it looks like we're gonna be going towards gap gap fill down here and we have another gap fill down to 2092 I still think we're going to 1665 on the daily. We get there, I'll pull off my short and say thank you very much. You really gave me some uh, diarrhea on this one. <laughs> but like I said, right size position handles the pain a little bit better, guys. I'm not always right, but on this one, I'm just adding slow and steady, slow and steady, getting that average up. I would have added if we would have went a little higher, never made it, and boom, we're right back in, in the money at this point. So AMD, a little bit weak, 130 million on the day, selling pressure, $2.96 down, cents down, and 11.12%. My gosh. And just think the donkey uh, 
was saying forty dollars on this one. So you go from nine to thirty-four. What it, it, that was just ridiculous, guys. Just like this whole market, we get these rallies. You know, from nine dollars to thirty-four, and everyone's like, "It's going higher. It's AMD." Now they're slamming them. It's going easily to twenty-one to the twenty MA's target. Then fifteen fifty-nine. That will be the fifty MA target. Gosh, if we go right back to nine, that that will be classic. If it goes to nine again, I might actually be a buyer. If the markets are catching a bid, if the markets are just pure dumping, everything could go lower. So, uh, weekly chart, the, the 200 MA would be the target. Is going to curl up, but just be careful in this name, guys. If you're trying to buy that dip, this little sell-off here could lead to lower prices. Definitely, look at that. Two more days, boom, we could be at 16 bucks easily, and everyone's going to be like. What just happened? Even on the monthly, it was stretched. Look at that. Target price would be 15 bucks. Look at that reversal, though. I, I wouldn't doubt we retrace one more time, get more people, and then the next wave down. So be careful with AMD. If you were in it from 9 and you didn't take profits at 30, 32, 34, you're a complete pig just like me sometimes. So um, now, just protect it. Uh, you, you, don't, you don't want to turn a $9 trade and then you end up getting out at 15 bucks after it went to 30 just just take profits at this point um, uh, earnings are coming up if it does pop just pull it because um, I think we have a little more pain coming on the markets guys if the IWM the Q's and all the big indexes sell this one's going down as well as everything else yeah that was a nice sell though today 11% down <laughs> all these people who got stuck up here look at that they, they held it up there too and that's all they did is talk about it oh AMD it's got to go higher, AMD. It's got to go higher. Let's talk to the expert. And then, boom. It's always easy after to see after the fact. But I was short and said as it was going up. Again, we're in the money. So, whew. All I, all I, I'm looking for another five bucks. That's it. You know, it gets down to 20 or so. I'm going to cut it. And I'll be done. Thank you, AMD. That will be like the fourth time we went short on this one and got paid. So, for me, I don't care. But then I'll, you know, this time I'll look to go long because people are going to be buying the dip. But I think this time they're going to put a lot more people in pain before the, uh, the dip actually is, is bought by institutional money. All right, let's go to Tesla. Tesla, the world's greatest trading vehicle. 100 point dips, 100 point rips, up and down all the time. This one I'm staying away until earnings. Uh, news coming out with the 420 Master Elon. Uh, Musk smoking weed, drinking beer, having a little bit of whiskey. What's next with this guy? Well, actually, he will be on Mars pretty soon, all by himself, possibly. So, but we're holding this area, holding this trend line. That was the big one before, right around the 250 area. Holding strong, still down a little bit today, a little bit down after hours. 9.3 million on the day, 1.48 percent down. So, I'm not doing anything with this at this point. If it rips, we're shorting it. If it dips, we'll be looking for areas to buy. Next area to buy would be the 240. I, I still think if it, uh, I'm gonna wait, guys. 180, 180 maybe. If it if the markets start tanking, then we're gonna fill this gap down here at 150, and possibly even go to 142. So, be very careful with these names, guys. When these are high flying like this, and we're actually we made the high, a new high, almost got the high. But see how it's a little little bit downtrending, guys. I mean, we're still making highs here, but it's usually on a pivot, and then it comes right back in. So for me, uh, that's just a bunch of BS. Just trying to hold the 200 MA on the weekly <clears throat> back below it. Uh, if we continue going sideways, guys, this one's setting up to go lower. But ER, like all these names, could save the day. So have that in the back of your mind just in case they prop these up on earnings guys and if they pop i'm shorting them i'm shorting that any everyone that pops i'm shorting them guys i might wait a day or two but on any pop i will be shorting on resistance areas if they drop i'll be waiting patiently for the spy the iwm to catch a bid and start moving up those start moving up then we'll catch a bid on these as well so everything at this point is a market trade guys so go slow with tesla you don't want to get cooked Every time it rips up, we hit good area and they rip it right back down. So, um, if you're a long term holder, eh, a little bit better, but let it come down. You could possibly get it at 180. Man, 100 point moves, guys. And we caught a bunch of these long and short, my members, at stockbookie.com. We're doing some live sessions a little bit more, too. Going to do some on, uh, on the Stock Twitch site. And then doing them uh, private sessions for my members too. We had a couple, couple good trades today. Apple, PayPal, PM, 
and uh, the SPY we took a short. PM we added short. That was a position we're doing more of a it's a, it's a hopefully like a week if the markets fall apart this one should come in we're only looking for a couple bucks on it you know and then in and out but right now we're just going slow and steady not really putting any new swing trades on or any short calls or short puts we're just going slow and steady more day trades couple day holds if they go against us we're out these markets are a little bit erratic right now we're trying to get some uh, footing whether it goes up or down I don't really care I'm just trying to look for spots you know, and trying to have the wind behind my back. Because if the markets are dumping, you want to be short. If the markets are ripping higher, you want to start finding support to go long on stocks. So, like NVIDIA. If we get a good rally next week, NVIDIA's a little bit weak, time to buy because that could possibly go up. Still got to keep an eye on earnings, though. So, watch for that. So, Tesla right now, nothing for me to do. Let's go through earnings and see what this thing will do and then go from there. MU. This is another one. It's going higher. It is. You're an idiot. Here we are. Nice retrace and pff, never look back, guys. Made a low right to the pivot. Broke through it today, guys. In my last video, we talked about this area. This little old, this is, this, this gap's been filled, but 39.34 could be the next area. If this 40 breaks, we'll be definitely going down to 37.80, 36.34, and then filling this gap right here at around 34. 25 or so so watch for all that because this once this thing starts rolling and the markets give it up oh my gosh this thing could fill this gap down here at 2790 markets give it up guys spy starts dumping it's over all these high flyers are going to come crashing down so protect yourself if we get one more rally up i'll be looking to add shorts across the board on everything any high flyer whatever stocks in la la land those are the ones i'm going to be shorting again we covered a bunch of positions over the last uh, couple weeks um i think out of the last 50 trades we had like five losers and uh 45 winners so that it was another massive ra you know winning streak for uh stockbookie.com and myself and uh, a lot of intraday action too as well again sign up guys 30 bucks a month we're gonna do a lot of live sessions we're gonna do a lot of you know day trading couple day holds get in and get out if you're that type of trader check me out there's no free membership or there is a free membership to watch a couple of the videos but if you want my Twitter feed the live sessions come on come in join up let's do this more eyes the merrier we can look at more stuff and find more stocks and make make some more money guys so Anyways, PayPal we had. That was a great one today, so we made money on that. But daily charts, um, what do we have? $28 million on this one. $0.85 cents down, 2.06% red on the day. All these guys. It's going higher. So, well, we'll see. Um, what a great, you know. Then right here. You know what? I'm going to move this one down. I like this area right there. Thirty-six fifty. I know there's a gap fill in here somewhere. Even this little old pivot, 34 but man, coming off a high pivot and just kind of just bleeding, now below the 50 and the 20 MA on the weekly, heading, it could easily go to the 200 MA, double bottom, gap fill. Markets dump, that's where it's heading. Markets go up, we could probably have the slight retrace if we get back to 50, 52, got to see how it goes, but this is the area to reshort if it goes and retraces right back up. On earnings, it could rip through. Again, slow and steady, see where earnings are, and we'll try to get in and out of some of these trades. So, and you guys, a little bit weak. Just be careful if you're trying to go long in this one, buy the dip. If we do get uh, below this area and close on a weekly basis next Friday, then we're on to possibly seeing these areas. Like I said, SPY dumps will definitely be there. SPY gets a bid and starts moving higher. It's going to be a little tougher for these stocks to sell off, but still a possibility to hit double bottom in this little lower area around the $36. So, all right, guys, that's going to be it for today. Thanks again for uh, watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like it. And if you like these videos, want to do some live sessions with me, um, intraday trading, get my trades. We've had over 400 trades on the year. We have about 300 winners, 76 losers. There's about 18 open trades. And uh, we just keep plowing through this, guys. We're about 80% uh, winning ratio to our trades. And uh, what else can I say? All, all, everything's posted on Twitter all that good stuff come and check it out check it out for a month it costs 30 bucks and if you like it stick with me i want to do more live sessions but i want to get more people in here to make it really worth my time as much as i love doing free live sessions on stock twits still have to get paid for what i love to do and then then it's even a and it's even that much better <laughs> so 
All right, guys, I'm rambling on now. Be careful in these markets, small positions. Take them, you know, or just sit on your hands and let's get through earnings to see if we get some direction. Most likely towards uh, Thanksgiving, maybe buy the dip mentality, go through Christmas, then more selling in January. But I'm still trying to figure that out to see if we're going to actually bounce or possibly start uh, uh, moving towards uh, some lower areas on the indexes. And again, I want to buy the dip, just not now. One day, one day. We bought the dip on that last 500 down day. We pulled them off the next very next day. Six trades, two small losses, the four winners, and we moved on, guys. That was six trades in, in two, three days and out. We've been taking more intraday stuff. That's what I want to get more into now because that's the type of trading I want to do. Get in, get out. There's some nice market action going on, so it's a little bit... Uh, more successful and accessible when you get shares traded and more volatility where it's good where certain stocks hit certain areas go down or go up long or short don't really care just want to be on the right side of the trade all right guys again thanks for uh watching my videos i really do appreciate it god bless see you on the charts